Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is a PHP video tutorial for the new Boston. Now, this is a quick introduction to XML. Uh, now, some of you may have heard XML, some of you may not, but XML is becoming an integral part of the internet in how we transfer and pick up data from different websites. Um, and also how we can transfer data uh, from, say, a database to another database um, using custom tags inside an XML file. Now, XML stands for uh, Extensible Markup Language, and it is a markup language, so it's similar to HTML in the way that we use markup tags. So let's just give you an example here. In HTML, we would define our HTML tags like this, where in XML, what we can do is we create custom tags that allow us to specify data and pick up data using different tags. So for example, I might have a name tag uh, and we end it exactly the same as we do and this name tag might be Alex um, and we might have this inside producer tag and then what we might have is many producers so we might in fact have um, a few names down the list and then we might have um, inside um, these um, inside these uh, different um, producers and information about different producers. So we might have this outside tag as producers and inside we might have, let's just get rid of everything, we might have um, producer and then that there. And then inside we might have a uh, name And then we might then what we can do is we can duplicate this and have another producer and another producer so we can change uh, these values here Ooh. now this may all look um, odd and may not make sense at first however what we have done here is we've created a structured way of displaying our data now if I was to say to someone, if you open up an XML file, at the moment I'm working with a PHP file, so pretend this is .xml. If this was an XML document and I said to someone, okay, well, um, bring up the second or, and third producer, what we'd be able to is access um, these tags. So we'd be able to access the producer's tag first of all, and then come in through and say, we'd have, say, feed this into an array, and we'd be able to select um, just this um, information, the name and the age of the two producers, two last producers. So it's a great way to transfer data um, around the web and in a format that's uh, recognizable depending on what tags you've used. So you can have an agreement of what tags are and which tags are required or not. So this XML data, we can read it in through different web applications and software applications. However, why is it useful to us as PHP programmers? Now, you may have noticed that, or may know, that Facebook, things like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, all have um, preset XML um, files for uh, different users. So for example, let's just bring up um, an example of a YouTube XML document. Now it's not correctly structured in terms of indenting and things like that. But if we go down, we can start to see uh, information about, um, about videos from uh, this, well, the user PHP Academy. So we've got, um, if you look carefully, you can see things like, let's just have a look. Okay, you've got here, you've got a description. So you've got a description there um, of a video. And if you come down, you've got some more information. And you can see that we've got these media uh, tags here. You've got, um, let's just go up. There uh, should be some more around. It's quite hard to see this because it's very, uh... yeah, so there, we've got author there. Um, this is just general information from this API document 
but if we go down we can see there's an extensive amount of data in here but it all can be read in using PHP now what we're going to do is we're going to work with creating our own simple XML files and reading them in and learning how to read them in uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take an example of a data feed from either YouTube or, or another or another social networking site that we can access a user's feeds for example from Twitter um, and things like that and um, we are going to read in things like that so now that you know what XML is um, you can go away and fiddle around with different websites and how they produce their XML have a careful look at it some might be structured some might be not like this um, and then in the next lessons we can start reading this data in and in fact then we can start storing this data um, once we know um, the structure of, uh, of our XML document and we can simply write an XML file using um, file handling so we can output uh, different lines to the file uh, depending on uh, the tags that we've specified so I won't be going through how to write your own XML file but we will be looking extensively at reading in um, XML files and then how to read in data like this